And Annalise, I mean, can you believe the state fair is just, I mean, it's, it's literally a week from tomorrow. And to me, that's always the sign that fall is here and the weather cooperates, or at least we hope it will. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm totally with you. It is it is that kind of marker. And I just think about last year, the drive through fair, you know, like this year, how much progress has been made. So exciting to uh, see that that is coming up so soon. We'll try to get some good weather in for that. But for now, it's still a little bit on the warm side across the area. We're seeing still that easterly flow uh, here in North Texas. So what that means is that we're going to be able to get some of the cloud cover back to the east. You can see the heavy cloud cover, of course, with Nicholas back around Louisiana throughout the southeast. But we, too, will be able to mix in some clouds through the afternoon. Not going to see rain, it looks like. We'll stay dry. But we'll be watching a little bit of that moisture, especially if you're east of I-35. But for now, things really just kind of quiet across the area. It's not a bad looking midday, but boy, it was a gorgeous start this morning. We had a clear sky again. Temperatures dropped into the 60s for outlying areas, low 70s for a po most of the Metroplex. And now we've made our way to midday with some of those clouds returning. Temperatures right now in the low 80s. We've got 82 Mesquite, Terrell 83, Decatur at 83. Burleson at 84 and the rest of the afternoon I do think will be slightly warmer than yesterday not by much but up to about 92 that's a few degrees above average which is about 89 winds will stay out of the east up to 10 miles per hour overnight tonight almost identical kind of numbers from last night upper 60s to low 70s so it is going to be a very nice start on Friday Okay, so let's talk about the weekend forecast. We get into Friday and into Saturday. We're actually going to be seeing a little bit more cloud cover both afternoons, and we're also going to be seeing a disturbance just to the east of us that's going to be up in Louisiana. That's going to give a little moisture to the region. So there's a slight chance once we get into Saturday and into Sunday, we could see a stray shower far to the east. That would be Mineola to Tyler to around Palestine. I don't expect it's going to be much at all. In fact, I would expect most of us to stay dry. You'll see that little area of low pressure right there, though, lifting up from the Gulf. That's Saturday into Sunday, so at least more clouds out of that. As it pushes on, though, we'll be able to see some warmer days to start next week before we start to see this cool down. So we are still talking a strong cold front Tuesday into Wednesday, a nice dose of Canadian air through much of the country, and we'll end up keeping that around for the late week forecast into next week. But until then, 94 Saturday, 91 on Sunday. Maybe you want to get in one more weekend at the pool, at the lake. Summer weather is going to stay with us for at least one more weekend before we start to cool down. Right on cue, Karen, the autumnal equinox is Wednesday, and that's when the cool air arrives as well. Oh, big round of applause for that. All right, Annalise, <laughs> thanks.